hello out there welcome to this tutorial again on variation in this video we'll be looking at inverse variation we look at definition the expression x alpha 1 over y is read as x varies inversely as y or x is inversely proportional to y it means as y decreases x increases and as y increases x decreases x alpha 1 over y is translated as x is equal to k over y where k is called the constant of proportionality or constant of variation so from here we take some examples on inverse variation we take our first example uh, the first problem on inverse variation if x varies inversely as y and x is equal to 5 when y is equal to 4 find the formula connecting x and y hence find x when y is equal to 10 in our solution if x varies inversely as y it means x is k over y so when x is 5 y is 4 that means we substitute x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 4 which gives 5 is equal to k over 4 so our k is equal to 5 times 4 which is equal to 20 then we now find the formula connecting x and y by substituting k is equal to 20 in this our relation here so that we have x is equal to 20 over y that is the formula connecting x and y so to find x when y is equal to 10 so we say when y is equal to 10 x is equal to 20 over 10 that is substituting the value of y equal to 10 in this formula we have here if 0 we cancel 0 we'll be left with 2 over 1 which gives us x is equal to 2 so we are done with problem 4 we go to problem 2 for problem 2 if m varies inversely as cube of n and m is equal to 5 when n is equal to 2 find the formula connecting m and n hence find m when n is equal to 5 um, here if m varies inversely as cube of n that's m alpha 1 over n cube then m is equal to k over n cube we now substitute m is equal to 5 and n is equal to 2 here when m is equal to 5 so we have 5 equal to k over 2 cube n is 2 so 2 cube 2 cube is 8 times 5 gives uh, 40 k is equal to 40 so since k is equal to 40 to find the formula connecting m and n we put k in this relation so that our m will be equal to 40 over n cube which gives the formula connecting m and n so we now go ahead to find m when n is 5 so when n is 5 so we have m equal to 40 over 5 cube that's putting 5 in this formula so we have 40 over 125 um, 5 divides this that will give us uh, 8 over 25 because 5 goes into 40 gives 8 125 divided by 5 gives uh, 25 so m is equal to 8 over 25 we can leave our answer as fraction like this or we give it as decimal so in this video we'll be leaving it as a fraction so we go to problem 3 for problem 3 if t varies inversely as 1 over s minus 1 and s is equal to 4 when t is equal to 3 express s in terms of t 
So to translate this, if t varies inversely as 1 over s minus 1, it means t is equal to k over s minus 1. And uh, s is 4, t is 3. 3 will be equal to k over 4 minus 1. Since s is 4, uh, to get the value of k here, we have uh, 3 times 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 times 3 gives uh, 9. So we first create the relationship between t and s first so that by substituting into this uh, relation t will be equal to 9 over s minus 1 9 over s minus 1 we have to express s in terms of t that is to say we have to make s the subject of the formula we have formed here so what we do is cross multiply uh, if we cross multiply or multiply both sides by s minus 1 so that we now have a st minus t equal to 9 t times s st t times 1 t is equal to 9 so we take this t to the right hand side so that we'll be left with st on the left hand side is equal to 9 plus t dividing both sides by t s is equal to 9 plus t over t and that gives the expression of s in terms of a uh, t and that's the solution of problem 3 we go to problem 4 for problem 4 the volume v cubic centimeters of a gas varies inversely as the pressure p kilograms per cubic centimeters on the gas a gas of volume 150 cubic centimeters was under pressure of 50 kilograms per cubic centimeters calculate the pressure that will be applied to a gas of volume 250 cubic centimeters uh, here v varies inversely as P so if V varies inversely as P means V is K over P and uh, when volume is 150 that's 150 P is 50 so we have it as K over 50 if we cross multiply K will be equal to 7500 yeah, K is 7,500. We create our formula by substituting K here so that V will be 7,500 over P. That is the formula. But to calculate the pressure that will be applied to a gas of volume 250 cubic centimeters. So when V is 250, so we have 250 is equal to 7500 over P. Um, if we make P the subject of the relation here, P will be 7500 over 250. If 0 cancels 0, 75 divided by 25 gives 3. So P is equal to 30. Therefore, the pressure will be 30 kilograms per cubic centimeters that is the solution of problem four we go to problem five for problem five the time taken to travel a certain distance varies inversely as the speed of the car when a car travels at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour the time taken is five hours calculate the time taken for a car to travel at a speed of 150 kilometers per hour in this problem we are not given letters to represent the time and the distance so we take t to represent the time and uh, s to represent the speed so that uh, the time taken to travel certain distance varies inversely as the speed so t varies inversely as s which means t is equal to k over s 
at time 5 hours the speed was 90 so that 5 equal to k over 90 k will be 450 5 times 90 is 450 so the relation here is t equal to 450 over s that's the relationship between the time and the speed so that uh, from here we have to calculate the time or oh, when the speed is 150 the time will be 450 over 150 is zero will cancel zero 45 divided by 15 gives uh, three so that the time taking is three hours time taking at a speed of 150 kilometers per hour is three hours so remember to always put the unit where the units are given thank you for watching this video this is the end of this uh, tutorial i hope you enjoyed it do check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the links to other videos on variations until we come your way again Goodbye.